everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We just want to welcome you, welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. All those of you that are joining us by audio or video, we want to welcome you. And what we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something special for you. Amen. I'm going to be sharing the word. I'm going to be sharing some uh, scriptural nuggets with you. Amen. And I want you to grab this. Amen. When God serves, you know, all we need to do is receive. Amen. We need to know how to receive. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about blooming and glooming for God. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Before we do that, we just want you to grab your Bibles. And say it like a mean at church, amen? amen. So, this is my Bible. Oh, I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Before we say anything else, I just want you to know that you fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. And the battleground is the mind. Uh -huh. And the enemy knows. And he tries to... Put things there for you to just keep you occupied all the time. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. So we got to get in the word and use the word to renew our mind. Amen? Amen. So that we know what to do. Amen. And be strong and be effective for God. Amen. Yes. If you don't do these things, you're just going to be bogged down like the world. Yes. Amen. <laughs> I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but if you ain't blooming and glooming, you're, uh, let me see what I wrote here. Blooming? Blooming. If, you, if, you, if you're not, uh, Blooming and glooming for Jesus, you're going to be like the world, doom and gloom. Amen? You're going to be lost. And all you're going to do is be talking about the problem, magnifying the problem, instead of magnifying your God. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say, well, what's the problem? What's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Well, what you did is you forgot to feed your spirit the Word of God, and you forgot also to renew your mind with the Word of God, because you're fighting that spiritual battle. Amen. That spiritual battle. And if you're not in the word, you lose. Yeah. Amen. And we got to be up and up with him. Amen. I haven't used that in a while. <laughs> be up and up. Amen. For Jesus. Amen. We used to do it in the military also. Up yeah. and up. Ready. Amen. And we're fighting a spiritual battle. And we're soldiers. We're warriors for God. We, we're, we're not uh, warriors. We're warriors. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so remember that. Amen. Praise God, quit talking the problem, magnifying the problem, magnify your God, amen. Know who you are and know who she are, amen. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I've, heard, I've read it something like this. We're the little Davids, and God has put some Goliaths in our lives so that we can have what David had and know who his God was. Just like David, we need to know who our God is. He knew who his God was, and he started talking about it. His God, amen. And he said, hey, when I was in trouble, God was there for me. And God delivered me. And that's what we need to do also. Corona, what? It doesn't matter what the world brings or what Goliath is the world bring. There's giants out there. But guess what? Yeah. My God is bigger than anything yes. the world can bring on. Amen. Woo. I got amen. I got God on a, on, a, on a side road there. But anyway, let the word bless you, encourage you, amen, and change you. Hallelujah. He wants, he wants to do that. Don't leave and don't be the same all the time. You want to change. You know, when you when you read the word, you mature and you grow. Amen. So you're going just like stepping up the ladder, you know, different runs on every time. You're not going down. You're going up. I'm growing. Amen. Soaring with eagles, not scratching with chickens. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Let me read you a couple of spiritual nuggets here for you. <laughs> don't worry about anything instead pray about everything amen we're going to read that scripture in a few minutes for like uh philippians 4 6 don't worry about it pray about it you know if you're going to pray about it don't worry about it and if you're going to worry why pray yeah amen so remember that great nuggets it says we walk by faith and not by sight we walk by faith and not by fear listen to this fear sells until you stop buying it until you stop believing in it but it's always there say wait a minute god is not giving me a spirit of fear but a power love and of a sound mind but you need to stop buying it and believe in it and now i'm going to walk by faith and not by fear you know what fear is it's false, false evidence appearing real you gotta stop believing he's not giving me a spirit of fear 
it's time for that to click. It's got a click in there. Say, I don't have a spirit of fear. I have a spirit of power, of love, and I'm a sound mind. Who greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world? Whatever the world can bring, amen? It doesn't matter. Ooh, man. Pastor, that's good. Amen. We ain't even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. This is good. This a couple of uh, nuggets for you. Amen. Yeah. We're going to talk about this. Blooming and glooming. Uh, don't shine so others can see you. Shine so that through you, others can see Jesus. Yes. Amen. I've told you this many times. And you probably hear me say this again. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or hear. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be careful of your words and your actions. Also, when you go out, you're imitating your God. Mm -hmm. And you're moving in the love and compassion of Christ. When you move in the love and compassion of Christ, you can help people. Amen. And you don't shine so people can say, wow, you know, look at you. You shine so that they can see Jesus through yes. you. Amen. Amen. Remember this. This all this. We, Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Yes. Amen. And Lord, I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. Thank you that you're able to use me. You're you 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 are a usable part in the body of Christ. Yeah. He said He said He's not looking for uh, quality people. He's not looking for people that, that He said He's looking for available people. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's looking for available people, not people that think they've got it all now. You know, yeah. Yeah. He's looking for available people. Are you available? Are you making yourself available when He comes? And knocks, are you available? And say, hey, Lord, here am I, use me. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is for everybody. Somebody needs to hear this. Yes, yeah. Are you available? Are you making yourself available? Mm -hmm. You know, we make ourselves available for the world. Mm -hmm. We make ourselves available for everything else. Mm -hmm. And then we take on the care. And we take on the world. And then we're in doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time we stop that. Amen. Time to stop that. So we're to shine for him. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. Those who walk with Jesus brings the presence of God everywhere they go around. Yes. Everywhere around them. God is with us. Let me see what I wrote here. Well, that's where I... You're the closest Bible some will ever see or read. Amen. So watch your words and your actions. People are watching. Most important, God is watching. And He's with you. He says He never leaves you nor forsakes you. So He's always with you. So, walk with Jesus. Those who walk as those that walk with Jesus brings the presence of God yeah. everywhere they go. Yeah. Amen. Wherever you're around, you know. Uh, right now with this coronavirus, and well, be careful, you know. Uh, you can't assemble yourselves in, in groups of uh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But they still assemble themselves. Mm -hmm. And he says, do not forsake us assembling ourselves together. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The presence of God is with us. Mm -hmm. He says he's with us. Amen. So everywhere you go, instead of the doom and gloom, bring the, uh, what is it? The presence of God. The presence of God. The blooming and the glooming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So instead of bringing the sadness, bring the gladness. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that's our scripture for today. Everybody knows the scripture is uh, uh, Psalms 118 24. Let me, let me open up the way I have it here. Blooming and glooming for Jesus. Opening every day. Rejoicing. Being joyful. Being glad. Happy. Excited. Amen. When you open your eyes, you know that's your first miracle. Huh. Thank God <laughs> He came and woke you up. Because yes. you, you, <laughs> you, you may have not have woken up. But he woke you up. You know why? Because he's not finished with you. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to hear this. God is not finished with you. Amen. Right. He wants to use you. He put you here to use you. For you to make yourself available for God to use you. Amen. I don't care what the world says. You're no good. You're nobody. I don't care who's told you what. God says you're able. Yes. And he says, I called you. I qualified mm -hmm. you. I approved of you. Yeah. So if the world or anybody else told you you're not, just put it aside yeah. and know your God. Know whose you are. Yes. You're a child of the King. Yes. Amen. Ooh, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, we can say amen and, and go home. <laughs> Rejoice. Being glad and excited, happy and excited. Believers blooming and blooming, serving with passion. You know how you serve? You make yourself available mm -hmm. to 
to serve. <laughs> Amen. That's what you got to do. You got to make yourself available to serve. Amen. Just like we do for the things of the world. You know, you make yourself available. That's how the world gets into you. So you got to be, be careful. Mm -hmm. Believers, <clears throat> excuse me, the world, <laughs> doom and gloom. This is what doom and gloom means. Attitude or feelings, things are only going to get worse. Oh boy. So it's your choice. Do you want to uh, bloom and gloom or do you want to <laughs> uh, doom and gloom? It's your choice. <laughs> Amen. That's, that's, that's a tongue tie there. <laughs> it's your choice. You make the choice. Nobody can do it for you. We try to copy something else. We try to copy somebody else. We try to copy the world. And guess yeah. what? You're going to do and gloom. But we are to be imitators of Christ. If we be imitators of Christ, we are going to bloom and gloom wherever we go. Yeah. Amen. That's right. You know, it's just like a seed. Well, I, I'm going to read it here to you in a minute. Believers should be the happiest people on earth. They should be. We should be the happiest people on earth. And you know, <laughs> right now, <laughs> there's too many believers in fear. Mm -hmm. Instead of walking in faith. Trust in God. Amen. There's too many of us walking in, in fear. But well, we should be walking in faith. Amen. Not but we, we're to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Bloom, gloom, and shine where Jesus puts you, has you, or he wants you. Amen. Sometimes. Well, I didn't want to go there. So you're going to be sad the whole or the, all your life, and you're going to make everybody's life miserable because you're not where you want to be. You know, God told uh, Jonah, go to Nineveh and preach my word. Set them people free. And Jonah says, I'm not. <laughs> he went the other way. And then God said the storm. And guess what? He told the captain of the ship, you're having problems because I'm running from God. Mm. So he said, if you throw me over, things will be fine for you. So guess what? They threw him over. <laughs> but God had arranged for a fish to be there for him. And went and spit him out in Nineveh. And went ahead and he preached the message God called him to be to do. And you know what? He's called you to bring his message. He's called you to the body of Christ. You have a part in the body of Christ. Whatever part that is, you talk with him and he'll show you. He'll share, you know, he'll let you know. But you have a part to play. They were small, it doesn't matter. I'm doing it under you, Lord, and he's gonna bless you. Amen. And when he blesses you, you're blessed by the best. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> Listen to this one. Be his lighthouse. Be his lighthouse. I had wrote something here about being a lighthouse, you know. People that are in the dark, you can be that light drawing them back to God. Amen. They see the light and they see you coming and they see the light and it's going to attract them. You be that lighthouse for God. Yeah. Amen. There's a lot of people out there lost. A lot of people out there that need to come back to Christ. Just like the prodigal son. You're out there. You know who you are. I'm talking yeah. to you. <laughs> you need to come back to God. No, no. When are you going to say enough is enough? I know. Amen. It's enough is enough. <laughs> and he's been wanting to, for you to do something. Mm -hmm. And he's called you to do something. And you're still fighting it. Yeah. Stop listening to the wrong crowd. It's time for you to listen to God. Mm -hmm. It's time to come home. Yes. Amen. It's time to come home. And he'll never put you aside. He wants you to come home. Amen. Just like the prodigal son, the father was glad to see him. Be happy where you are. <laughs> so many people are so upset of where God has them or where they are. You know, wherever you happen to go, be in the desert, <laughs> wherever. Mm -hmm. You know what? Be happy. Yes. God told Moses, said, I want you to leave my people. <laughs> Moses says, I don't want to. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> but still, God chose Moses. Well, you know what? He's choosing you and gave you an assignment. But you haven't accepted it. It's time for you to accept it. You know, Moses says, I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. And you keep saying the same things. And God says, I have qualified you. If I qualified you, you can complete anything. We just need to know that. So when things come around, you know, fear comes around, the world comes around, all these things, distractions come around, you're able to say, all these dream busters come around, you know, you're able to say, hey, I'm pressing on with Jesus. Amen. 
you guys want to just stay still, stand still, or be still and do nothing, I'm going to press on. You know, I'm going to press on. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> Listen, flowers, plants, cactus, trees grow and bloom where God plants them. Mm -hmm. And there's no complaints. Mm -hmm. And there's no excuses. I've seen plants. I've seen uh, cactuses in weird places. And guess what? Just because they grew up in a little crack of a, a sidewalk didn't stop them from blooming. Yes, yes. Amen. They still bloom. Man, beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> what about us? We're his children. We're supposed to bloom and gloom wherever God has us. Mm -hmm. Only reason you're not blooming and glooming is because you're dooming and what's the other one? <laughs> dooming and glooming. Dooming and glooming. <laughs> <laughs> It's time you stop that. <laughs> Wherever he places you, I said, hey, I'm going to do my best for God right here. Oh, Jesus. I guarantee you, Jesus did his best. He came, he, did, he, lived, he left the perfect heaven to come to a corrupt world, to be sacrificed. Amen? And he gave his best and gave, gave us his best. Mm -hmm. We need to give our best. Say, yes. well, it's time to stop playing around. You know, you want to know the truth? It's time to press on with Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. Put on Christ and press on with Christ. Amen. So, there's no excuses what we should learn from them. Then stop them from blooming because they was growing on the side of a building or on a crack uh, sidewalk or on the side of a hill. It doesn't matter if if you're in the desert. It doesn't matter if you're in the mountains. It doesn't matter if you're in a garden. Mm -hmm. Still, God gave you that. Yes. To bloom wherever you are. Amen. I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or you can accept uh, what the enemy brings. And that is steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Or you be careful with what you speak because death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes, yes. So quit talking the problem. Yes. Quit magnifying the problem uh -huh. and start speaking your freedom. Yes. Amen. No matter what, cares, troubles, Problems, sicknesses, or what coronavirus come up. Guess what? Greater is he that's in me. Yes. Amen. I have the power. He's given us power. And where is your power? Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Power your words. Mm -hmm. Speak those words. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have I have I have victory over uh coronavirus. Mm -hmm. COVID nineteen. Yes. Amen. You know what's scarier yeah. than COVID nineteen? I yes. saw this. <laughs> he says, Depart from me. I never knew you. Mm, That's okay. scarier. When he mm. says, leave me. I never knew you. That's scarier than COVID-19. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Come on now. Mm. Here's a text for today. Psalms 118.24. Oh, Pastor, I know that. I know that in any, any which kind of way. This is the day the Lord has made. Yes. Remember, he woke you up. Yes. You open your eyes. That's your first miracle. Mm. This is the day the Lord has made. Mm. I, depends on what translation you read, but it says we... Some say we or I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. But you who don't know, it's it's a freezing outside. You don't know it's, it, and the sun is over 100 degrees. You don't know what the situation is. But still, he says rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of God. And greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you get the word of God in you. And when you get the word of God in you, you get to step in and authority. Yeah. When you step in authority, it says, submit yourself to God and, and devils are going to flee from you. Uh -huh. Devils are just going to see you coming and say, I'm out of here. Amen. It's time for that. And don't don't, don't, don't uh, try to be buddy buddies with them. And say, hey, here comes so-and-so again. And say, we'll just tag on with them, you know. <laughs> no. Careful of what crowds you hang around with. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah 8, 10 and B says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Psalm 118, 24 says, Rejoice and be glad in it. Nehemiah 10 says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. So you need strength. So be joyful. <laughs> he told Joshua, The walls the walls uh, of uh, uh, Jericho, He told, They're too, they're too, they're too powerful. Mm -hmm. They can't come down. You know, anybody and everybody is trying to come bring them down. He told Joshua, Great general, this is what I want you to do. Put the praises up front and march around the city. Don't say anything. God took charge. 
And you know what Joshua did? Joshua obeyed. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> hey, I've been taught military. And I know how to fight military. But so does Jesus. And Jesus' plans work better. <laughs> so he was quiet. <laughs> he didn't say anything except, yes, sir. Yeah. Obey. Yes, sir. And he did what he Jesus told him. Him. told him. Amen. What God told him to do. And guess what? Them great walls, mighty walls of Jericho came down. Mm -hmm. So whatever walls you have around you, whatever walls you're facing mm -hmm. can come down too. Coronavirus yeah. walls, they're coming down. Amen. <laughs> they can't stand up. Apostle Paul was in prison for most of his life. An educated man. Full of God. But he was happy and content. He wrote two thirds of the New Testament. From prison. <laughs> he wasn't complaining about it. But still. Wherever God has you. Be happy where you are. Amen. I say you know what. This is where I am right now. I'm going to do God's best. I'm going to do my best for God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The body of Christ, the church. Us. We are the church. I'm not going to church. I am the church. If you go anywhere, you are the church. You're the body of Christ going somewhere to happen for somebody. It's not about denominations. That's what the enemy uses to try to divide us up, you know. But we are the body of Christ. God's church believers who have confessed Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Yes. That's you. If you have never asked Jesus, now it's time. Ask Jesus in your heart. It's never too late. Yes, yes. I don't care. You know how many times when I first came to Christ, how many times I asked Jesus <laughs> to be my Lord and Savior? Maybe he missed it my first time. Maybe he missed it the second time. I say it all the time. I see it on TV mm -hmm. and I confess it again. Mm -hmm. But I know I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. He's my Lord and Savior. Amen. So you confess him. All you have to do is repent Amen. and say, Lord Jesus, I missed it. I repent. I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I want to do what you've called me to do. I want to fulfill what you've called me to do. Listen, this translation, I want to read it to you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 21 through, I mean, excuse me, 27 through 31. You can follow if you want to. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 27 through 31. It says, you are Christ's body. Yeah. That's who you are. You must never forget this. And I want to read it to you in this translation so that you can understand it. Uh -huh. Okay? I want you to understand this. You must never forget this. Only as you accept your part of that body does your part mean anything to you. Mm -hmm. Amen? This physical body, every one of these parts is different. Mm -hmm. And every one of these parts functions different and has their meaning. And what they do and still this body functions together in unity yeah. never does the arm the leg or whatever <laughs> eyes <laughs> fight against each other say i'm better than you are uh -huh. we don't we, we're not to compete but we're to complete yeah. this body is a complete body whole body mm -hmm. complete body that's what we are the body of christ a complete body of christ and we're to <laughs> function and operate in unity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not compete about who's best. <laughs> Only as you accept your part of that body. Does your part mean anything. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with some of the parts that God has given. His church. In his body. There's apostles. Prophets. Teachers. Miracle workers. Healers. Helpers. Organizers. And those who speak or pray in tongues. And if you fit in one of those areas, okay? You didn't forget anybody. If you're born, <laughs> you're of God and you need to come to God. Mm -hmm. Amen? God put you here. <laughs> and if you don't accept Christ, you're going to be miserable the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what status. You're going to be miserable until you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen? So one of these categories is for you. But you need to get with your God and have a relationship and meet with Him and find out what is it that I do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do best, you know God has placed you there. Amen. Has gifted you. Amen. Christ's church is a complete body. And I wrote this on the side, serving in unity. Not all are apostles, not all prophets, not all miracle workers, not all healers, 
not all prayers in tongues, not all interpretive tongues, and yet some of you or some keep competing for so-called important parts. Yeah. Until you accept, Lord, you put me here. Lord, you made me. You created me. I'm accepting this. Now I want to fulfill what you call me to do and what you want me to do. And that's it. Accept your part. And don't let the world, let, don't let anybody say, what do you do in the church? What do you do in the body of Christ? Well, uh, whatever. I teach children. Is that all you do? You mean you're not a prophet? You're not an apostle? <laughs> Titles. The world goes by. Don't get hooked up on those things. Amen. Don't get hooked up on those things. We start competing just like the world. Amen. God called you. God said to you. And he gives it to you. Do your best to honor him. 1 Corinthians 12 and 18 says, And now God has set members, each one of them in the body, just as he's pleased. <laughs> in his body, we are his body. He set us where he's pleased. So if he's pleased, you be pleased about it. It doesn't matter who says what. Lord, I thank you. Amen. Have an attitude of gratitude. But our bodies have many parts. And God has put each part just where he wants it. God put the body, put the parts in the body as he wanted them. He made a place for each one. God put every different part in the body just as he wanted it to be. Amen. So if you got problems with your body, you go to God and says, you know, I think you put this in the wrong place. <laughs> no, you put it in the right place. We need to have peace about it. You receive it and make yourself available for him to use you. Because you, if you've accepted Christ, you have a part in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And now you got to get up and do your part. Amen. You're not just called to sit down and do nothing. <laughs> We're to do something and we're to be, be busy for Christ. Amen. Remember, you're that Bible going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. Colossians 3, 23 and 24. And I, I've used the English version for you to understand this. It's one of my favorite scriptures. But in Colossians 3, chapter 3, verses 23 and 24, it says, In all the works you are given, do the best you can. Amen. You know when you're sandbagging. <laughs> you know when you're holding back. Amen. <laughs> you know when you do for the world, you show off and you, and you try to do your best so they can see you and you try to promote yourself. <laughs> Come on now. I'm, I'm not the only one that's done this now. <laughs> Work as though you're working for the Lord. Not any earthly master. Verse 24 says, remember that you will receive your reward from the Lord who will give you what he promised his people. Yes, you are serving Christ. He is your real master. When you've accepted Christ, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Lord, I'm working for you. I'm serving you, Lord. Amen. So the world will try to distract you. The world will try to buy you off. <laughs> Still. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Now I'm accepting my part, and I'm going to press on and do what you ask me to do. Amen? I am making myself available. If you ain't never said that before, it's time you do. It says, Lord, I'm making myself available. What is it you want me to do? It's time you say those things. Amen? On a daily basis, go and do the Lord's work. Amen? Bloom and groom where you are. Too many people live negative and discouraged because they have not accepted they have not accepted this. Amen. They don't like where they are. People don't like their jobs, their careers. They spend a lifetime and retire from jobs they never, they hate. They're not happy. They don't know. They don't like where they are in life. They're not where they want to be. They're always complaining and competing, always fighting, being negative, complaining. <laughs> you <laughs> you never heard this before. I know. Always wanting to be somewhere else and do something else. Always yeah. wanting to be somewhere else. And people go and tell you and say, oh, I want to go there. You know how many people wanted me to be somewhere else? <laughs> and then I want to be 
right now where God wants me to be and do all that I can do my best for Him. Amen. The key thing is to bloom and gloom where God has you. Amen. <clears throat> Not waiting to just till things get better. Yeah. And smile. Have a winning attitude. Have a positive attitude. A right attitude. Mm -hmm. Be the best where you are right now. Mm -hmm. Smile. <laughs> that smile you lost. Listen. <laughs> this is good for somebody out there. That smile you lost. Put it back. <laughs> Take it back. Put it. Put it back on your face. Yeah. And give your frown a, a break. Oh gosh. Amen. Give your frown a break. A smile will make you better. <laughs> a smile will make you a better witness. I've said this before. But a smile will make you a better witness. Smile attracts people. Smile shows the love and compassion. Frowns distract people. Mm. Nobody wants to be around you. Mm. All right, yeah. Say, well, you know what? I went out witnessing. I went out trying to be nice to people with a frown on my face, you know, and nobody came around. I said, yeah, I, I know why. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> Listen, we sang a song this morning. It's called this. Jesus now more than ever. <laughs> yes. We need Jesus now more than ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole song is just so beautiful. You know what he did. All the things that he did. We need Jesus now more than ever. Yes. On a daily basis, you need to say that. Amen. Jesus, we need you now more than ever. But guess what? <laughs> you can sing that song all you want to. And he'll say this. I've done what I what what I did, what I, what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Now <laughs> it's up to my body. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's the head. We're the body. Uh -huh. It's now up to us to go. Yeah. Amen. And bring Jesus. Amen. Bring Jesus to the lost world. Yeah. Be that lighthouse in the dark world. Amen. Let your light shine. <clears throat> you're not going to bloom and gloom and shine for Jesus if you're not getting in the Word. Yeah. If you're not spending time with Him. Yeah. Amen. Renewing your mind with the things of God. Right. You know, this negative media, this negative world will bring you down quickly. Yes. And I've got nothing to be happy about, you know, because I'm so full of the world. <laughs> but if you follow Jesus, you're going to gloom. Yeah. And you're going to bloom. And, and you're going to shine. And people are going to see that, you know. They see you with a smile. They say, you know, you're not, you're not supposed to be uh, uh, happy right now. You're supposed to be sad because of what's going on right now. Oh, no. You're supposed to have a frown. Uh -uh. And you're supposed to be fearful right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm more fearful fearful of the one that can say, I never knew you. Mm. Depart from me. Mm. Amen. That's, that's a good fear. <laughs> 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 so, praise God. Mm -mm. Believers should be the best smilers. Mm. <laughs> or have the best smiles. <laughs> yeah. Of course, again... We should be the happiest people on earth. Yes. Why? Because we're God's people. Mm -hmm. And we know that we can do all things through yeah. Christ. All be things. good, be kind, even when they're not good yes. and kind. Yes. I don't know about you, but I've been around a lot of people that told me where to go. And it wasn't heaven. <laughs> <laughs> they called me all kinds of names, you know. But that's not right, you know. I'm doing this under you, Lord. Just think about the things they told Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah? One day, one week, they welcome him as a king. Mm -hmm. And the next week, they're crucifying him. Mm -hmm. And spitting on him, putting stripes on his back. Mm -hmm. I mean, humiliating him. You mm -hmm. know? And he did it for us to have salvation. And thank yes. you, Lord, for my salvation. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Be grateful God. where you're living. Even if it's not where you want to be. Mm. But I thank you, Lord. <laughs> this is where you want me right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do my best for you. Martin. First first here. <laughs> first mm -hmm. him. Amen. The Bible says, seek ye first mm -hmm. the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these other things shall be added unto you. Yes. So, Lord, I seek you daily. On a daily basis, seek you first, Lord. Amen. These other yeah. things. And you get around negative people. And they're going to tell you, what do you do? What you need to be doing, uh -huh. what to dress, what to wear, all these other things, mm -hmm. and you say, "Wow, I'm missing it. I need to get. I need to get with with the world. I need to get with the program." No, you're with God's program. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're doing you're doing the right thing. Nothing in life just happens to us. 
it happens for us. Amen. 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 Keep a right attitude. Keep a, a smile on, on your face. <laughs> you don't know the things I'm going through. Yeah, right. Jesus stayed positive the whole time. Man. When things happen to us, instead of having a bad or negative attitude or complaining, have a good attitude, amen? Amen. God, I may not like this, but I know I'm where you want me. I may not like this, but I'm in your divine plan. Uh -huh. And I'm going to fulfill what you've asked me to do. I'm going to fulfill what you uh, want me to do, amen? I'm doing it under you. You would not have allowed this unless you would be getting some good from it. It may not feel good, but it allows me to bloom and bloom and shine for you. I'm doing this under you, Lord. Amen. So, praise God. <laughs> be that lighthouse he wants, to, wants us to be. Amen. Yes. We're always trying to get somewhere else to be happy. The grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Bloom where you are. Bloom where God has placed you. Be that smile somebody needs. Mm -hmm. You know, be somebody to pick somebody up instead of pushing them down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a kind, be be that kind person. Be yeah. that joyful person. Yeah. Amen. Some of these things we we're learners and we can learn these things. Yeah. Amen. We're to imitate him, not the world. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Brighten up somebody's day. Be a blessing. Amen. He's blessed you so you can be a blessing. Yes. Amen. He just didn't give it to you for you to keep. Amen. Right. Where to give. Where to be givers. Yes. Amen. And give. Amen. So. <laughs> yeah. Pick somebody up instead of putting them down. Remember, mm -hmm. you're blessed by the best. Amen. Be God's best wherever you are now. On the way to where you're going for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, man. It's just somebody somebody needs to hear this put a smile on your face keep a smile on your face <laughs> give it all remember this jesus team wins all the time yeah and we're his team amen being loving even when they are unlovable no. i know you don't know any people like that no <laughs> being good even when they're not good being kind when they're rude mm. <laughs> you meet rude people every day why it's so important you spend time with him before you hit the world. Because mm -hmm. people are going to tell you where to go in a heartbeat. And you know, not only that, but it's hell out there without him. Yes. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Jesus, our greatest example, left heaven to a perfect place. A perfect place to come here. We have nothing to complain about. That's it. Have an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. I'll do my best. Amen. I'll do my best. Nothing else in life just happens to us. It happens for us. Keep that right attitude. Lord will guide and provide. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He says the steps of a righteous man are ordered of God. Amen. So he knows your steps. And he's going to guide. He, he, he's going to guide for you. So praise God. So here's another thing we need to do. Cast all those cares on him. Remember this. On a daily basis. All the time. Because you know what? We attract things. You know you you know those little things we used to hang that attract flies? Oh. Attracts flies and they just get all stuck on there? Yeah. Well, the world is like this. They just try to get all uh -huh. over you. We need to give ourselves a spiritual bath on a daily basis with the word of God. Get all those things off. And he says, renew your mind with the word of God. That's your spiritual bath. Get it all off of there. Otherwise, you're gonna be moved. Because you're going to be dooming and glooming. Uh -huh. Amen. He's not just happening for you. He's not happening to you. He's happening for you. Uh -huh. God is using them or using them to grow you up. Yeah. You're, you're developing character. You're maturing. Yeah. You're maturing. That's good. On a daily basis, I'm maturing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So get out of the flesh, get in the spirit. <laughs> Learn to be Christ-like. And I'll close with this scripture. Imitating him on a daily basis. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. We have to open our Bibles. Let's open our Bibles here. I read you some scriptures, but go to Ephesians. And you know when you open your Bibles and you look and you read a new scripture, <laughs> if it's not highlighted, have some highlighters close by and highlight the scripture or have a pen and underline it 
personalize it. <clears throat> I know what King James says. I want to read it to you from the Amplified. You read to King James. <clears throat> the Amplified says this. Ephesians 5, chapter uh, verses 1 and 2. It says, well, let's, let's read the King James. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smell and savor. Amen. Listen, this is this is the Amplified. The Amplified says, therefore be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his examples. You know, I've had too many people tell me I was born this way. This is the way I'm going to die. Nothing can change me. Of course not. Because you have your free will. You, you, it, it, it's you. You got to open up. You got to surrender yourself and give yourself and commit yourself to Christ. Yes. And let him mold you and shape you into being what he's called you to be. Uh -huh. But if, if, if you don't confess him as your Lord and Savior, nobody can. But you have to open up and surrender. Amen. And quit saying... I can nobody can change me. Yeah. Well, if you keep saying that, you can have what you say. Mm -hmm. But if you say, "Lord, I'm yours," mm -hmm. Lord, I can uh, I, 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 I surrender myself to you. I commit to you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Now I need to, if I'm confessing you as my Lord and Savior, I am going to be an imitator of God, and I am says copy him and follow his examples. That means <laughs> all that negative stuff, all that cussing and fussing, all that doom and gloom has got to go. Mm -hmm. But you have to be careful of your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. Amen? As well, beloved children, imitate their father. He is our heavenly father. And we're his children. Amen? And verse uh, 2 says, And walk in love, esteeming and delighting one another, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a slain offering, a sacrifice to God, for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Amen. So that's the scripture I want to close with. Amen. So whew, hallelujah. We're to be his imitators. And copy him and not the world. So praise God. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your precious word. Thank you, Lord. We receive your word and we allow your word to Mold us, shape us, Lord, and change us, Lord, and bless us, Lord. And correct us. And we thank you, Father, for all those that are listening right now. If you never accepted Christ, now is the time. You have a time to just say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. God, me provide for me, Lord, in Jesus' name. It's time for you to make that change and start pressing and learning more and reading more and spending time with Him more. Amen? So, Praise God. Thank you, Lord. There's many out there, Father God, those that are hurting right now. Touch them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Touch. The Bible says that by Jesus Christ we're healed. So body line up with the word of God right now. Are those that are hurting. We touch them right now with your word, Father God. And the sound of my voice, Father God, those that are watching, those that are listening right now, Father God. Yes. We speak healing in their bodies. Whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. Just by Jesus Christ. They are healed. Yes. Amen. So Satan, we just command you to leave. We command your sickness to be gone right now. In Jesus' name. We cease to exist. And we command, cast it out in Jesus' name. Yes. And we thank you, Father. Yes. And by Jesus Christ, we are healed. Amen. Yes. And quit confessing the healing. I mean, quit confessing the, uh, the sickness anymore. But what I have and all these symptoms. And just confess what the word of God says. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. I receive and bless me. I don't know about you. But this is an opportunity now for those that are watching and listening. We thank you for being there for us. And uh, in time of giving, it's uh, on the screen there for you. NBC, Big Game. And hit the donate button. Those of you that are uh, sending it by mail. NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas. And once again, we want to say thank you and God's best to you. Amen. So praise God.